All right, I often have people that need to figure out how to resize or crop an image and just really don't know how to do it because Windows, by nature, doesn't make it real easy. Uh, if you have a Mac, I can't help you right now. But if you're using a Windows PC of any kind, um, this is a great little program here called Paint.net. And the web address notice is actually GetPaint.net. <laughs> I'm ashamed they don't have that. But on here, it's free download. Click Paint.net. And then they have a lot of ads that'll often say, download here, that are kind of fake. Um, but it's worth it, you know, click through for free software. So click that. Uh, like I said, it can be kind of a challenge here sometimes. Yeah, sorry, download now, there we go. And then, uh, yeah, that one is not your download, the download is actually up in the corner here. So download and install the software. Uh, once you do that, you'll have paint.net on your desktop. And you simply just drag a picture onto it. And it'll open up the program. Oops, I'll open it on the other side here, and drag it over open up the program, um, and we can do some things with it. Now this is not a good program for putting together multiple pictures into a collage or adding text or anything like that. It can sort of do that kind of stuff, but it's not real good for it. However, it's a dead simple way to crop and resize your images. So in the case of this one, we're viewing it at 49%, meaning it's actually a pretty pretty big image. It's bigger than it needs to be for a website. I mean, it's, it's a giant image here. Uh, so what we'll do is just say image resize, and it's 1920 by 1080, um, that's actually not too bad, but we'll say we want it to be about 800. You know, that, that's a decent size there. It's still going to be plenty large for, for a website. So we'll click that. It'll resize it. And then we just you can say File, Save. I often do Save As. Just keep the original just in case you need it later. So I'd say maybe Townhouse um, Resized. And then for JPEGs, it'll ask you what quality level. I usually stick between 85 and 90. And as you adjust it, you'll see the size of the file actually go down. So we go to 85, it drops to 100K. You actually see the image change too. Again, at this high of quality, you won't notice it too often. But if you were to crank it down to 13, you see it gets all fuzzy. You know, crank it down to zero. It's it real fuzzy, but the file size is tiny. So 85 to 90 seems to be a sweet spot. You know, 85, it's 100K and it looks great. We bring it up to 100, it goes to 300K and looks the same. So um, again, so we'll put it like 85. 87, there we go, 85, and save it. Um, and that's how that works for resizing. You upload that townhouse resize to your website, and you're in good shape. Uh, quick note about file names, too. Never use spaces in file names if you can help it. I mean, it should work fine in Windows, but if you're putting it in a Dropbox to be shared on a Mac, and someone might have Linux, and someone else might be pulling up on their iPhone, and you may be pushing it to a website, and you, you never know where the image may end up. And spaces can cause issues from time to time on certain systems, um, especially web related. So. Yeah, use dashes or yeah, we'll go back to save as. Um, you can use dashes if you want, like I did here. Some people prefer like mixed capitalization, townhouse, resize, that'd be fine. You can do an underscore, different ways to break the words apart so it's easy to read without actually doing a space. Um, then one other thing you can do with paint.net that's kind of neat is for cropping. So just grab this little guy in the corner, this crop tool, and say I just want a nice picture of their porch. You know, grab that and then say image crop to selection. And there it is, you have that. And then from that one, you could resize it down. Of course, that one's pretty small already, but you could if you want to say, okay, I want it to be a tiny little thumbnail and shrink it to that. And again, whatever you do, just file, save as. Um, save out your new version of it, and you're in good shape. Uh, if you need more robust work done, I use a program called um, Adobe Fireworks. Um, that's one they acquired from a different company a few years ago. Of course, Adobe has Photoshop, which most people use, which is awesome. A little expensive, but does pretty good. Uh, Photoshop Elements is only about 99 bucks and does a good job, but just for simple resizing and cropping and stuff. And actually, one more thing you can do here, if a picture sideways, you can say image um, and rotate. Rotate 90 degrees clockwise, rotate clock counterclockwise, that kind of thing. So if you have sideways pictures, this is a decent way to do that, although Windows handles that pretty well on its own anyhow. So anyhow, quick look at some simple photo editing, so I hope that's helpful to you. Thanks.